What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own anime header for Twitter on Pixlr. So you do not need to pay for Photoshop. You don't need to download any kind of software or editing software or anything. Pixlr is actually just a free website where you can just hop on your browser, type in Pixlr, and just start making your own graphics. Before we get too far into today's video, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like the video and also subscribe to the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it if you guys could do so. And yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into today's video. All right, so first things first, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the three three banners that I actually made because I actually did make three separate Hunter Hunter banners. One for like the three main characters, except for like the Duke the Glasses, I always forget his name. But if you guys have been around the streams on the channel recently, you guys would know that I've been watching a ton of Hunter Hunter and I actually just finished it like the other day. And it's actually one of the best shows that I've literally ever seen. Now, I just want you guys to know that this is like one of the first animes that I've ever watched. I watched a little bit of Tokyo Ghoul a long time ago, but I think I'm going to go back and probably watch that next. But if you guys can find like PNGs of anime characters, whatever your favorite anime may be, you guys can literally just use the same tutorial like this has, like making the same background and making your name and everything the same way I do. But then you guys can just substitute your anime character for the one that I'm using. That's literally what I did for basically every single character. Like I didn't remake the background. I just kind of replaced the character in each one. As you guys can see here, this is my favorite one out of all of them. As you guys can probably see, this one was in the thumbnail. This is one of Kilua, obviously from Hunter x Hunter, one of my favorite characters. He's honestly such a savage in this show, to be honest, but this is probably the favorite one that I made. It has Kilua in you know the obvious Japanese um, language over here I just use Google Translate for that and I'll show you guys how to do that but I have my name we got social media in the bottom left we have another PNG of him as well in the background it kind of overlaps it looks super cool and then I'll show you guys the rest of them quick as well this is the Gon one obviously I had to make a Gon one he's kind of like the main character of the show this one's super cool I think it turned out really well honestly um, we have Gon you know Japanese up here a little bit different than the other one and then for the third one I did a Kurapika one just because I thought that he looked pretty cool as well in it and I did find another cool PNG of him as well. So as you guys know, with all the Pixlr tutorials that I do here on the channel, there's a top link in the description, which is actually a Google Drive that has all of the images and assets that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. And I will include a PNG of Kilua and I'll include a PNG of Gone as well as that I'll include the PNG of Kravika. Now I actually don't have the PNGs of the characters in the background. So you guys might have to find that yourself or if I still have it on my computer somewhere, I'll make sure to toss it in the Google Drive as well. Also, as well as that, I will have this font that I used throughout the entire banner in the Google Drive as well. As well as that, I'm going to have all the PNGs for the social media black icons that I used as well. As well as that, just download everything to your desktop. And yeah, I think that's enough for the intro. With that being said, let's go ahead and just hop into Pixlr and I will go ahead and show you guys how to make these for yourself. All right, guys, so here we are in Pixlr. Now, the first thing that you guys are obviously going to want to do is click on this create new side on the left and you want to type in with 1500 so 1500 and for the height type in 500 or 500 now this is basically just the standard sizing for a twitter header um let me know in the comment section down below if you guys do want a youtube banner tutorial for you know this same exact design but we're just going to click the background we're going to make sure it just we're not going to change it just make sure it's transparent and we're going to click create and essentially this is just going to create like the standard template for a twitter header so first of all we're going to focus a lot on like the text and like the background and everything before we go ahead and toss in any of like the anime characters so we're just gonna go ahead and create like some of the names and everything again make sure you download and you know put in the font and everything like i said before in the video before we even start this you guys want to know again how to download pixlr font so it will be a card up on the screen but we're gonna do this bottom black part we're gonna do the names on the bottom i'm gonna do my name up here and i'm gonna do my name over here first so first of all before we do anything we want to click on this left side this square marquee tool right here and just keep it on the rectangle and just drag it over the entire thing then from the color and we're just going to go to basic white color and we're going to go to the brush and we're just going to drag the brush size up a lot make sure the opacity is at 100 percent and we're literally just going to color this all in we're going to go to select deselect now let's go ahead and focus on this black part all the way at the bottom right here all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the marquee tool again we're going to click on it and we're going to drag this along the bottom here kind of like how we saw uh, in the picture right here and then we're gonna go to the brush tool again and we're gonna make sure this time it is selected on black. And then we can brush in this layer right here and go to select and deselect. Now what we can do here is go to the font tool and I can just click anywhere here and it should be able to add. Yep, and then make sure again, we're clicked on the stretch pro font that is also included in that Google Drive. And I'm just gonna type in ice kicks and you guys can type in your name obviously. Um, now again, I'm gonna go highlight it. I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna go to white. 
and I'm actually going to drag it down so it's just above here. And I'm also gonna size it so it is a lot smaller. I keep sizing it down a little bit. I believe I had it at size about 22. If you guys want to uh, just, you know, use that same sizing, it should fit right here. Kind of line it up here. And then all we have to do here is kind of make that um, punch out effect that you guys see on the text down here. And you just have to go to styles and outline and then click this punch out section right here. And we're gonna click on the color and then we're going to drag the color to white click OK. And then we do have that exact punch out kind of outline that we did before. Now, if I click styles again, I believe I had the size at only one. So it was super thin. We gotta do the punch out thing again. Click on white. There we go. And as you guys can see here, all we have to do now is click on it, go to the three dots up here, go to duplicate layer, and then we can use the arrow tool to just kind of move it all the way to the right and it creates that pattern type effect. And all we have to do again is go to that layer and just again, duplicate it and then just drag it across again with the arrow keys on your keyboard and then line it up again. And then all we have to do is keep doing this and I'll fast forward a little bit so you guys don't have to watch me do this all in real time. All right, so now that we have the bottom done, as you guys can see here, now we should probably focus on the text up here and we're gonna focus on the text up here that I also did for my name. Um, I'll show you guys how I got that stretched E as well because it's super cool how this font does work. We'll do the ice right here, like the name, we'll do the name behind here. So first thing we obviously wanna do is go to the text tool again, click anywhere, click add, make sure you're on that stretch pro and I'll change the color to black. So it kind of does kind of show up here, but I'll show you guys how to get that E. So if I type in, I C E and then I also type in another E it's going to stretch that out and also if I type in another E after that it's going to stretch it out again now I only typed two so I'm going to hit backspace and then I'm going to hit then I'm going to go to K I C K Z and that's actually how I got it now you guys can do this with any letter in this font like if I typed another Z right now it would just stretch it out as you guys can see here but you guys can do it um, however it fits your guys's name um, however it just looks cool honestly it's gonna take a little bit of practice but I think it looks coolest um, stretched on this E right here in my name personally so I'm just gonna drag it up here kind of like how I had it um, in the picture before right here and then what I also did was I left clicked I duplicated that layer and I dragged it right next to it. And I just did a little bit of these, which you can do on your keyboard. They're just like the greater than or less than um, like um, letters or whatever. Like if you hold shift and you type in like period or comma, uh, these are what come up if you hold shift. And we're just gonna drag it all the way over right here. Kind of like how we got that. Now I believe I had the size a little bit bigger for these like this. We're gonna do this right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's go ahead and focus on the ice here and the ice kicks right here. So if I take these and I, oops, I move them a little bit, but if I take that and I duplicate it and I bring it all the way over here and I maybe add two more like the thumbnail and I rotate it to pretty much right here. I can take the size, drag it up a little bit like 55 and then I can put these right about here now let's get the ice kick so I'm gonna go to add text and I'm going to type in ice and I'm gonna drag this over here I'm gonna go to the font tool right here also going to drag up the size a tad just to kind of fit like how we saw it in the thumbnail right here. I'm also just gonna make sure to kind of line up things like this so it does look better. I'm gonna take that ice and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm gonna drag it underneath, double click, and I'm gonna type in kicks. And I'm also gonna line those two up right about here. Now again, I'm gonna go to the um, ice and I'm gonna going to click on it and I'm gonna duplicate that. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to use this rotate little dot right here and I'm gonna rotate it until it is perfectly parallel or whatever or vertical and then now we got it right about here and i'm going to kind of connect it kind of like how you guys see um it's kind of placed over here and you guys see there's one punched out as well so if i go to that one again and i duplicate it and i just drag it up here and i go to styles and i go to outline and i go to punch out i go to the color black and then I can go to size all the way on one. And then as you guys can see, that's kind of how I got that effect. Now we're gonna take that ice and that one that we just punched out and we're gonna duplicate that again, just to make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna put this one 
over here and I'm gonna make the size just a tad bigger. Oops, I don't wanna move that one. I'll be moving this one right here. I'm gonna drag this right about here. And now let's go ahead and focus on the social media on the bottom. And we're gonna focus on how to get this like black line right here to kind of outline the social media. So that's super easy. All we have to do is go to the marquee tool. Um, you guys can zoom in with your mouse if you want to, if it's gonna help you out a little bit, helps me out for sure. And we're gonna kind of line it up over here. And we're just gonna drag it all the way down like this. And then we're gonna go to the brush tool and make sure we're clicked on that background layer that's all the way white. And we're gonna make sure the color down here is also on black. And we're just gonna brush this in as you guys see here. And I'm gonna go to select, deselect, and I'm gonna grab the marquee tool again. And I'm just going to try to get this as perfect as it can be. Might take a little bit of practice for you guys. I'm gonna drag this one all the way across here. I'm gonna again go to the brush tool and I'm just going to color this in like this. Go to just select and deselect. As you guys can see here, now we have it. Now let's go ahead and toss in these social media like this YouTube icon, a uh, Twitch icon, Twitter, and TikTok. Again, all of these uh, little icons um, that are transparent will be in that Google Drive, so make sure to go ahead and download them. After you go ahead and download them, go to layer, add image as layer, and you guys can just start adding all of your PNGs like the YouTube one. You just click it, add it, and then just drag it down to make sure they're kind of all the same size. And then all you have to do is line them up. Now, I'm not gonna go through that entire process because you guys already know it. All you have to do is just keep adding each one as a layer. So I'm just gonna delete that. And then all you guys have to do for the um, the name down here is just, you know, again, add another text layer. You're gonna click it, click add. And you're just gonna type your at, which could be at whatever your name is. I'm just gonna put um, at ice picks. I believe I had it as all caps as well. There we go. What I have to do is kind of um, drag it down a tad here. And drag it in the corner like so. I believe I had it on like 20. And you guys could take, you know, these three dots as well. Let me see where it is. You could duplicate that as well and just, you know, add them around to add a little bit of a cool effect like this. Now, as you guys can see, we pretty much have the entire background, you know, other than the Japanese name for, you know, this certain anime character, but we have all of like the typography done and everything like that. You guys should have added all these social media, you know, right on top of that as well. So now all we have to do left is really to put our anime character on top of the background of the banner. This is pretty much like the easiest part of the entire process. We're gonna go to layer, add image as layer, and I'm just going to add that Kahlua one that I also gave you guys, you know, in that uh, Google Drive as well. And we're gonna go to the move tool and I'm just gonna drag this down here and I'm just gonna kind of line it up however I want it. I'm gonna line it up like this, I think. Now I'm gonna go to adjustment, brightness and contrast. Now I'm gonna give it a little bit of contrast and brightness. So it does stick out a little bit more as you guys can see. And we're also gonna take that and we're gonna go to it. I believe it is filter. Yeah, we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go to drop shadow and I'm gonna make sure it's on black and I'm gonna go to opacity 100%. I'm gonna put the blur on none and I'm gonna put the X offset at about negative 30 to negative 40. Just gives it a cool like drop shadow effect that isn't like blurry at all, at all or anything. And now you guys are pretty much finished. Now you guys could as well, you know, Go and find, you know, that other picture of Kahlua right here and, you know, toss him back there. Or actually, Kilua, I always pronounce his name wrong. Or you guys can take, you know, a completely separate anime show and you can take your favorite anime character from it and just toss it right over. Honestly, you guys can really do it with whatever one you want. Honestly, if you guys really don't even like anime, you could just toss like a Fortnite character or something realistically on top of this. It doesn't really necessarily have to be anime. Now, if you guys do end up going with the anime one and you want to have the specific character name in the top left, what I did actually was I just like took a text and I just typed this I clicked add and I just typed in you know ice or you guys can type in anything now I put this up here and what I did was I went to Google and I typed in Kahlua name Japanese and it will come up up here and I can just take this and I can right click copy I can double click and I can hit control V or paste and as you guys can see here I can easily get uh, the name of Kahlua in Japanese so I can just toss it, toss it in right here. And it is, you know, the same font as, you know, the rest of the other fonts and the one at Stretch Pro. So I thought that was kind of a cool touch to the banner in my personal opinion. But I think that's going to be it for the video. If you guys want to save it, all you have to do is go to File, Save. Make sure it's on JPG. Drag the quality to 100%. Name it whatever you want right here. Click Download. 
And then what I usually do is I usually click this arrow, click show in folder, and I usually just drag this to desktop like so now we have the finished product all you guys have to do now is add it to your twitter header if you guys do want to check out how it looks on a twitter header or a twitter profile my twitter is a link in the description and it, i do have it like you know set as my current twitter header if you guys do want to go see how it looks i do appreciate you guys for watching i think that is going to be the video again if you guys would like and subscribe to the channel this takes me a lot of work to like make a lot of the pngs and stuff so i greatly appreciate all the support on this video i will catch you guys in the next video on the channel thank you guys for watching peace